Hi guys, this is lesson number three in our Coral Draw training series. In this exercise, we will be learning how to create these logos. I have here logos for Samsung and BMW. These two logos we will create with the shape and text. Here I'm going to show you how easy it is to create uh, uh, this type of logo inside Coral Draw. So let's get started. Our page, it is uh, still letter size. Let's move these uh, items from the page, from the document. We can select and uh, move to the side here. Let's create the Samsung logo. Here we have, uh, we are going to select the ellipse tool. Click on ellipse tool. And uh, at the top here, we have a uh, property of the ellipse tool. We can create ellipse, we can create a pie, and also we can create uh, arc. So right now the mode, uh, selected mode is pi because I created uh, this BMW logo. So we need to bring back uh, our default that is ellipse. So select it and click and drag. Okay, so here we have uh, ellipse uh, in our page. We need to fill with color, select the color. This color I'm going to fill navy blue and uh, remove outline, right click here. So this is how we have. Now we need to rotate this object, so click in the middle. And once you get this uh, control from the corner, the rotation control, you can click and drag as much you want. You can rotate. I think this is enough. So this is how uh, we rotate it. Now we are going to add the text. Click on text tool. Here we have text tool. Click on text. Click in the page and uh, simply type Samsung. Make sure that the cap lock is on. So you can type in capital letter. Instead of A, I will type V because uh, this letter, you can see here the style of Samsung logo. Uh, we will rotate this V letter. Okay, so here we have text. Click on pick tool. And uh, we are going to change the font style, okay? Here I have font style uh, that is impact it is installed in my computer if you don't have the same font you can apply any similar font you can choose i will use impact okay so here we have now we will resize it just bring it here at the top okay this way fill color left click to fill color inside and you can see that here uh, we have a gap in letters so this is what we learned already in our previous lesson. We will go to the shape tool and uh, expand from the right side this way. All right, so that's all. Now here we need to rotate the letter V exactly the way we have done in our previous lesson. We rotated the letter E for the Dell logo, uh, but here I will show you something additional also click on break artistic part select the letter v if i will click in the middle and rotate this letter you can see that uh, we can rotate this way also but if you want with a perfect angle uh, what you can do while you are rotating you can press control key press control key and then gradually you can see that with a specific angle it will be rotated so release the mouse and release the control key and uh, we have done this thing. Zoom out, uh, select pick tool, select everything and then click on object and group. Group object, that's all. So this is how we created this Samsung logo. Let's create this BMW logo now. Uh, we will start with the ellipse once again. Ellipse tool. But this time click and drag but you need to press control key so perfect ellipse we will draw this way okay so here we have uh, ellipse we need to fill with the color black click on the color left left click so the color goes inside now right click here to remove outline so we don't have outline now if i want to create another circle with the same size on the top of this circle uh, we can duplicate this circle by pressing plus key the plus key you will press from the numeric keyboard that is in your keyboard right side from the numeric keyboard you will press plus key while it is selected with the pick tool i will press plus key so you can see 
here I have another object control Z undo so it will remain in the same place if I want I can resize it from the corner you can see that if I will resize from the corner it's going to be resized from one side so what we need to do we need to press shift while we are resizing press shift key so you can see that it is maintaining the center of this object so I will just uh, resize this way maybe release the mouse and then shift key and the object is there but you cannot see because the color is same so right click to apply outline so here we have now white outline and uh, a black fill we can remove the black fill left click to remove the fill so this line uh, we need to increase the size here we have here line just click here and apply uh, the line size here maybe four yeah that is fine a little bit uh, we can make it bigger this how we have object now another circular shape we need inside we can copy this once again press plus key okay we have another copy of this uh, circular shape press shift key reduce the size this way and you can see that now it is inside for this one I am going to uh, fill color in my border in my outline gray so the third color from here gray I will apply so you can see that here we have a gray circular shape inside and in inside color I am going to add white I will zoom a little bit okay so this how we have object now uh, what we are going to do we need to create uh, this part as you can see here we have uh, two pi inside blue color this what uh, this result we can achieve by uh, using ellipse tool but we will change the mode to pi okay so click on the ellipse tool and click and drag press control key so you can see that here we have uh, this click on pi so once I click on the pi the circle uh, it's become pi now and uh, uh, you can see that here we have three quarter circle to change uh, the shape of this here we have value we can give the value it is 270 I will type here 90 and press enter so you can see that we have one quarter here and uh, this how we created this before we resize this uh, what we can do we can fill the color and we can apply the outline that we have here click on pick tool and fill with the blue outline size maybe I can give here four maybe two outline size two and uh, same color gray from here third color so here we have now this pie I want to copy duplicate okay press plus key from the keyboard if you don't want in the same place you can press control D also like this control D so we have another copy in this what I want to rotate so for this thing in coral draw we have feature here uh, we can we can mirror horizontally and mirror vertically so mirror horizontally and mirror vertically so you can see it is this way now perfectly I want to place uh, to this point so it is important you need to check the snapping that is in the view click on view and here we have uh, snap to and make sure the object is selected so it is selected we can bring the mouse to the corner so you can see that it is detecting the edge it is detecting the corner click and drag it to this corner so this is how we place we can select both of them it's a good idea to group click here object group and group object now we can bring this uh, in the middle and transform it from the corner more precisely and perfectly we can align object and uh, place in the middle but in our coming lesson we will be learning uh, for now we'll just adjust it okay so that is fine this is how we created this logo now the rest is the text so click on text tool and type BMW click on pick tool and uh, I am going to make it bold Arial bold we can increase the size here bring the text here and make it white color and bring it here I think it's quite big we can reduce a little bit okay now we are going to break this text 
object break RTC. So here we have B M W M is in the middle already. We can select the B, click in the center and rotate it. All right, select the W, rotate to the right, and then just bring it here. Just adjust it according to uh, the way you want. This is how simple and easy step we use to create these two logos. We have Samsung logos, we have BMW logo. Click on Pick Tool and if you want you can group it. Object, Group and Group Object. So now we can move all together. So guys practice this exercise, create these two logos uh, by using shape and text and see you in the next. Guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.